So here he is coming in number five on my top five list of classic rock drummers. This is, of course, Nick Mason of Pink Floyd. Well, basically people, I've been blocked. <laughs> Copyright, notification, all countries affected. And it says the name of the company who's blocking me uh, for copyright infringement. Welcome back to Cross X Pollination. Well, I did it. I put out one, two, this will be my third video on Friday. <laughs> Today uh, I got a copyright infringement from the video I uploaded uh, and worked on for the week. So that's good news in a way that I was able to put out three videos even though only one went across YouTube and other areas. So, hmm, that means if I ever get full time with YouTube, I can put out three videos a week. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, I got a copyright infringement, so I appreciate that. I, I think um, artists need their, their due, you know, what's due to them. And so I certainly don't want to steal from anybody. But... I see a lot of videos on YouTube and I think, well, how did they do it? You know, some of these people aren't really known. I know it costs about $1,000 to get a mechanical license and that's per video. So I don't know. I don't know how it happened, but I just got it. I got blocked and YouTube won't allow me to upload. So basically what I've done, I have five um, top five classic rock drummers of all time. Now, uh, to get into the video, I'm going to talk about each drummer, but I'm going to do it in five segments. And I'm going to attempt to play with a broken hand, too, um, but I'll be doing a lot of stuff right-handed. Uh, just so I can show you why I picked these top five. And I'm going to play um, over some samples of music or whatever, but I'll talk about some of them as well. So, uh, the first one on the list, Nick Mason of Pink Floyd. What Nick Mason, uh, I didn't pick any of these uh, top five drummers because um, they're great soloists or because they are, um, although they do solo very well, but they're not known for their licks, they're not known for their, um, their drum uh, technique per se. Some of them are, but most of them aren't. Um, so... Basically, I picked Nick Mason, and he's the top five, so uh, five next week, I'll do four, the week after three, so on and so forth. When I get to three, two, and one, I'm going to have a hard time <laughs> drumming what I want to show you and what I've prepared that I can't put online. Uh, but at any rate, what, what Nick Mason, I, I picked these drummers, these top five drummers, um, steering clear of alternative rock, steering clear of metal, thrash, steering clear of pop rock um, this is just basically classic rock and classic rock drummers were affected by elvin jones uh, art blakey uh, philly joe jones who went across the pond and also taught a lot of drummers who became rock guys so so these five drummers are very musical and i'm going to show you why with dick mason we have um, a musical drummer who he did Time. He did that whole Roto Tom thing at the beginning of Time. Of course, many of you are familiar with Money. Um, he does a lot of neat things in the music that just adds and enhances uh, not just percussion, but a musical way of doing percussion. So today I'm going to do a song that um, I think back in 1968, if you know, it, it was um, typically a song that was being done. It would have been, um, and it kind of goes like this, so I can't, it's going to be on guitar low on my on my sample. But, um, so this will be entertaining. <laughs> so it goes like this. Um, do, 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 do. And it repeats that twice. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> so it repeats that twice, and then you could consider the next part, the B section, do 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 and then it goes back into that so a typical drummer might you know just do 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 you know on two and four um but what nick mason does is he's he's kind of got ow 
it's kind of got this um, this rhythm going around the drums and the toms. I'm not going to be able to duplicate it, especially with a shattered radius. <laughs> so, but that's going to be what you'll see. So you'll see part A. I'm just playing kind of the straight ahead thing, and then part B. I'm doing more of like what he would do, flourishing on the toms and building up the momentum. And towards the end of that song, it's a nine minute song. I highly uh, strongly recommend you go online, look up uh, Pink Floyd live at Pompeii, and you'll see the the video. Um, but towards the end of that that song, it's really much faster and faster, and he just builds it up, and it goes into this great crescendo at the end. It's he's he's amazing. So uh, a lot of people think he's um, overrated. Uh, many people don't think he's that great. Well, they haven't really dug into some of the um, the deep files of of Nick Mason because he is the best drummer, especially for Pink Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> 